Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatulli wa barakatuh. Have you ever wondered what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thinks about a person who sins and then repents and then falls back into sin over and over again? Well, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, answered this question in many hadiths. Here are a few we can focus on today. Ibn Abbas reported, The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, There is no believing servant but that he has a sin he habitually commits from time to time, or a sin entrenched in him that he does not abandon until he departs the world. Verily, the believer was created to be tested, both repenting and forgetful. If he is reminded, he will remember. He also said, on the authority of Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the messenger of Allah say, Allah the Almighty said, O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth, and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as it. We can see from these hadiths that whilst we should never encourage sins, it is normal for us to sin, and we are encouraged to repent. Particularly from the last hadith, we can see just how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes His forgiveness. So don't be afraid and don't fall into hopelessness. Make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continue to make dua and...